I'm Matthew Galgani with a quick overview of IBD's ETF market strategy. By the end of this video, you'll see how to trade ETFs or exchange traded funds to make money while the market is up and lock in the bulk of those gains when the market starts to weaken. But first, the obvious question is, how do you know if the market is in an uptrend or downtrend? The easiest way is to simply check the big picture column in IBD each day. The market pulse inside the big picture shows you which of three possible stages the market is currently in. Confirmed uptrend, the best time to buy stocks. Uptrend under pressure, a time to be cautious and ready to take defensive action since the uptrend may now be starting to weaken. And market in correction, which means the uptrend has ended and a downturn has taken hold. You want to avoid making any new buys and be sure to lock in your profits and cut short any losses. So that three-stage approach helps you navigate the market and see whether it's time to be buying stocks or taking defensive action. And you can also use that approach to trade index-based ETFs. As you can see, it can be a good way to grow your money over time. From the start of a new uptrend on March 17, 2003, through March 28, 2013, the last trading day of the quarter, IBD's ETF market strategy significantly outperformed the NASDAQ and S&P 500. While that does not guarantee future performance, it does show that if you stick to the rules covered in this video, this simple approach can help you build financial peace of mind. Let's see how it works. First, what is an ETF? It's an exchange-traded fund, which is basically just a basket or group of stocks that you can buy and sell just like an individual stock. There are ETFs that focus on specific industries like energy, medical, or housing, and there are ETFs tied to a specific index like the S&P 500. Since IBD's ETF market strategy is focused on the general market, it's based on index ETFs. For example, PowerShare's QQQ, generally referred to as the Qs, tracks the NASDAQ 100, 100 leading stocks on the NASDAQ. Since there isn't an ETF that tracks all the stocks in the NASDAQ composite as a whole, you can use the cues to apply this strategy. Before you begin, decide how much money you want to invest using this ETF market strategy. Then follow this simple three-step process. Step 1. When the market pulse changes to confirmed uptrend, you want to invest the full amount you've allocated to this approach. Step 2. When the market pulse changes from confirmed uptrend to uptrend under pressure, reduce your holdings to 50%. Step 3. When the market pulse changes to market in correction, cut your holdings to zero. Now in a particularly volatile market, the outlook in the market pulse may immediately go from confirmed uptrend to market in correction. In that case, simply cut your holdings to 0%. And for extra protection, again, in particularly volatile markets, you can also use a stop-loss rule that reduces your exposure based on a sharp price drop in the index. For details on that, visit Investors.com slash ETF strategy. Let's do a quick simulation to see how to apply the basic ETF market strategy in the real world. Here's a daily chart for the NASDAQ from September 1, 2010. On that day, we had what we call a follow-through day, which signals the start of a new uptrend. For more on how follow-through days work, see the IBD University section of Investors.com. That changed the market pulse from marketing correction to confirmed uptrend. That was your signal to buy an index ETF. For this simulation, we'll use the cues. The big picture and market pulse are available online the evening before the paper comes out so it's a good idea to check for any changes to the outlook each night online. When you saw this change on September 1st, you could have set up a buy order for the queues with your broker. That would get executed at the current market price when the market opened the next day. Fast forward two months to November 12, 2010. At the close, the NASDAQ composite was up about 15% from the day the market pulse changed to confirmed uptrend back in September. But signs of selling had started to emerge, and on November 12th, the outlook changed to uptrend under pressure. That was your sign to cut your index ETF holdings to 50%. Again, you could see that change online that night and put in a sell order with your broker for the next day. 
A few days later on November 16th, the market pulse shifted to market in correction. That meant it was time to move safely to the sidelines and cut your ETF holdings to 0%. A couple of weeks later, the market pulse changed to market resumes confirmed uptrend. So once again, we were back in an uptrend, and that was your signal to again establish your full position in the index ETF. Here are two important things to understand about this ETF market strategy. First, market direction can change quickly, so it's important that you check the big picture and market pulse regularly. Ideally, you'd take a minute to check it each night online. Second, the performance of an index-based ETF basically parallels the performance of the index itself. So when the market is in an uptrend, that ETF by definition won't outperform the related index. But when a downtrend hits, that's when IBD strategy can be very helpful. Instead of riding that ETF back down and watching most, if not all, of your prior gains disappear, you move safely to the sidelines. So in other words, you make money when the overall market and the index are in an uptrend and you lock in the bulk of those gains as the market begins to weaken. That's why this simple ETF market strategy can significantly outperform a buy and hold approach. For more information, visit investors.com slash ETF strategy. And also be sure to regularly check the ETF section found in IBD and investors.com each day. Thanks for watching.